Hi, I'm Dan Brooks, the Cast Iron Ranger, and today we'll be making skillet venison. I'm going to show you how to cut it up and prepare it in a cast iron skillet. But first, I want to thank Coy Dixon and his family. They let my son come down and hunt in the Hondo Valley, and he got this deer. So it was his very first deer. We're quite proud of it, um, and we're going to eat it today. All right, the great thing about this recipe is it works with any cut of meat. Now this is just the uh, part of a back quarter. Now I like to have my meat slightly frozen, so when you cut it, it cuts nice. Look at that. Hmm? Now what you can do is you can just take this and cut it into chunks. That's all you do. And once you do that, it's ready now to come right over here. And what we're going to do with this container is we're going to soak this in some cream. Now, this is an old European baker's trick, so it's another secret. When you're dealing with game, we just keep it going in chunks like this. It actually goes pretty fast. This is going to be about a pound. Uh, yeah, probably about a pound of meat. Now, if you saw our show earlier, uh, you saw how to make some marinade, and we're going to use that, but first, we're going to use this cream. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this cream, and we're just going to pour this in here. And we're going to let this soak overnight. And this is going to be perfect, because what it's going to do is it's going to take away a little bit of that gaminess, and it's going to make these cuts so tender. Oh, so we put this in the refrigerator overnight, and then the next day you come back and you use the marinade. Now I've already prepared some for that, so we'll start cooking that. I'm going to call in Marty Frenzel. He's going to help me with the uh, stove and get that lit. Marty, can you come in and help? While he's doing that, I just want to we'll come back and, and emphasize that uh, here's our uh, deer. It's been soaking overnight. Um, and I went ahead and prepared this earlier, and you can see it's, it gets a little creamy, gets a little pink, but that's good. That's what we want. We want that soaking in there. Now, I also took the liberty of going ahead and making uh, uh, some of the marinade, and if you've been watching the show, you know the secret marinade now. You'll notice uh, you got to be careful. See how it's separated there? Now, what I, all you got to do is shake it up. And that's what I did last night. I made some last night. I went ahead and prepared so I had taken the cream out, rinsed it out, and then I put our deer now in the marinade. So it's been soaking overnight, and as soon as Marty gets the skillet ready, we're going to put that in the skillet. Now what's important is that skillet gets real hot, so we want to make sure that it sizzles. All right, how's that coming? You got it lit? All right, let's get that skillet on. All right, it's going to be really important to get this hot. So we're going to test it in a minute. While we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and get some beans ready too. I've already opened the beans up. It's just going to take us a second to just put those in. So all we got to do is just, because with this kind of a, a deer, beans are great. We're just going to heat them up while we're letting our skillet heat up. It's just going to take a second. All right, we need to test this skillet and see if it's hot enough. And here's the easiest way to do that. We're just going to reach in here and get a little oil. Oh yeah, hear the sizzle. All right, here we go. Now get a close-up of this because this is important. You want your skillet hot so that everything, ooh yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Mm -mm. Now it's only going to take about five minutes for this to cook. Won't take long, so we're just going to kind of move this around, and this will be ready in five. All right, our deer's been cooking in the skillet now for about seven or eight minutes. It's ready to go, and I'll show you how to do this right now. Our beans are he heated up. We're going to go ahead and put those on the tortilla. Ah. Ooh, that's hot. It's getting hot. I like to smear that around. We're going to fork some of this out. Mmm, look at that. If you could smell that, mm, you'd want some. Get us a little cheese. And this is ready to go. 
Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's ready to go. All we got to do now is wrap it up and try it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That melts in your mouth. Now I want to remind you when you get a deer, make sure you skin it and take care of the meat right away. That's the secret. Don't let it get too hot and you can have a meal just like this. If you have a recipe you'd like Dan to try, you can email him at thecastironranger at state.nm.us.